How do you feel about the notion of bombing the moon? Back on Earth, the idea has some just a little uneasy, but others giddy with excitement. Having this diverse set of telescopes on the Earth and in space and at the moon essentially makes us very robust, it ensures our success, and definitely addresses the, the questions uh, in the most uh, uh, diverse and expanded way as, as we possibly could. Before we get too carried away, what's the plan? Well, NASA says it's not really bombing the moon at all. It'll first shoot a spent launch rocket the size of a bus at the moon crater, traveling at twice the speed of a bullet. Feeling better now? No? Well, how about this? A spacecraft will analyze the inevitable plume of moon dust that follows, looking for evidence of water. Then it will crash into the moon. Scientists say they've already found indications of H2O on the lunar surface. So when we had those two things combined, high hydrogen with very good illumination and observability, Cabeus was just the right choice over Cabeus A. Cabeus is, of course, the crater on the moon's south pole selected for missile impact. The $79 million mission to bomb the moon could save us the burden of hauling water to the lunar surface. Like it or not, Three, the mission two, is already one. underway. Main engine ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with LRO Elcross, America's first step in a lasting return to the moon. The Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite blasted off from Cape Canaveral in the summer. It's now poised and ready to strike. And the internet is a buzz. So NASA's gonna destroy the moon. YouTube, petitions to stop the moon bombing and mixed views on Twitter. This one, bomb, it's more like dropping a small pebble on a large beach. Calling it a bomb is just ridiculous and pandering. Then this, bombing the moon, great, now we can add aliens onto the war on terror list. Time of impact, it's out of your hands. The countdown has begun. Rosemary Church, CNN, Atlanta.